Elf is no stranger to weird collabs. <laughs> I think we've learned this by now. Elf does weird things. They collaborate with companies like Chipotle and American Eagle and Liquid Death. <laughs> they, they, do, they do lots of odd collabs, but it always seems to work out for them. And the reason why is because their marketing team are, are freaking amazing. Like, I don't know who is over there doing the magic behind the scenes, but their, their ad campaigns are really, really good. So was I surprised when I saw that Elf was collaborating with the dating app Tinder? No, absolutely not. <laughs> So I have all the details on the Elf and Tinder collab. How are they marketing? What is in there? So much to share with you about that. I'm also very curious to hear what you think about Walgreens next move because, you know, we've been talking for a while about how Walgreens is in financial they're having trouble. And part of it is due to some shady business going on in their pharmacy. That was a thing. But they're really trying to get skincare lovers to come over and buy from them from the Walgreens brand. And how they're doing that is they're taking a page out of Emco's book and they're creating these dupe looking products that look similar to more high-end products, but also some lower cost products like products from the ordinary. It's a very odd move. So I have more details on that for you. So you can kind of decide how you personally feel about it. Uh, after that, we'll talk about all the products that launched this past week. So many products like holiday season is hitting us. Brands are like, okay, it's September. Let's talk Christmas. <laughs> They're all about it. So we have so many gift sets that are launching a lot of holiday launches to talk to you about. And also very interesting, we have a couple of launches from influencers that I wanna highlight that I'm very, very excited about. So if you're interested in any of those stories, the product releases this week, sales that are going on right now, hang tight. I'm about to jump into all of it right now. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to the What's Up and Makeup product report. This is the sister show to the top news segment that goes live on Sundays where we talk about everything that happened in the industry. They used to be one show, believe it or not, but splitting it into two shows allows me to make both of them ridiculously long because I can't do anything the easy way. I have to, if, if it can be long, it will be long and you all seem to be absolutely loving it. So today we're talking about product specific things that are happening in the industry. We do this every Sunday and Monday. So if you are new to the channel, hi, I'm Jen. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome. I hope you love the show. And with that being said, let us start with the Elf and Tinder collab. Now, I will tell you, I do not have experience with Tinder. I met my husband on New Year's Eve in 2002. So 2002, 2003, we had some websites. We had like Match.com. I don't think Plenty of Fish was out yet, um, but we did have e harmony I remember all the commercials and everything. I did not get into dating apps yet. I was thinking about it at the time, but, but I had had roommates that had horrible experiences on these websites, some of them that I witnessed firsthand. So I was a little nervous to go on these dating websites. And from what I've heard, they haven't gotten much better over the years now that we're swiping left and right in order to match with people. But we cannot deny that dating apps and dating websites have been amazing for some people. And led to some wonderful relationships, people that have been married for years due to meeting on dating apps. The two biggest fish in the sea, as they say, for dating apps are Bumble and Tinder. And according to some research that was done in 2023, they were literally neck and neck as far as the most popular dating app. But what brought Bumble down <laughs> was that this past spring, they had a huge snafu in their advertising campaign with these giant billboards that were just really in poor taste when it comes down to it. So for example, one of them said, you know full well a vow of celibacy is not the answer. And then another one encouraged uh, women not to become nuns. Basically almost, the way that I interpret it is it's kind of like women are the problem for not, you know, doing the thing. Women are the problem is what it sounded like. Like, hey, loosen up, you know, give it up. And it just, it was icky, it was icky. So after that, Bumble hasn't been doing quite as well. Tinder, on the other hand, I'm sure was watching that happen and decided, you know what, what can we do that might 
actually support women, make women be excited to use our app, let's partner with one of the top beauty brands in the entire world, Elf Cosmetics. They have released a collection called the Face the First Date Collection Tinderbox. It includes a lipstick trio featuring two lip oils and a mini lip liner in a custom tin. Also, the All Slick No Ick Face Primer, the Situation Ship setting mist and the flame changer makeup bag but the coolest thing in my opinion hang with me if you don't think it's cool just hang with me for a second because you know what i'm going to say if you've seen this it's a it's called it's a match and they are these little matchstick single use lipsticks Personally, I think this is very cute. I understand I am not the target market for this, and this is not going to be one of those products that e.l.f. turns into a permanent product. They recognize, I personally believe, that they recognize that this is just a thing to be cute for this particular collection. I don't think it's meant to be taken seriously. I think that it's meant to just be fun. And, you know, Tinder, come on, Tinderbox, Tinder, matching, like, it's just cute. It's adorable. I love it and apparently other people love it because they were selling these for four dollars and they sold out almost immediately if you want the rest of the collection though you can still get it at least as of filming there is a bundle for 45 dollars or you can just get the lip products the not the matchsticks but the other ones for 18 dollars for more information on how they marketed this, definitely check out the very last story of top news from yesterday. Sometimes brands do too much for absolutely no reason. And I feel like the one of the best examples of this was Glossier Play. The thing about Glossier is Glossier is known for, like originally when they launched, it was that millennial pink. It was marketing toward millennials specifically, and then they started including older Gen Z and then middle Gen Z, but it's really meant for or at least in their marketing for that no makeup makeup look. They really fit into that trend well, that uh, skin look, that my face but better with this makeup kind of look. So when Glossier launched Glossier Play, the idea behind it was it was for people that wanted something a little more bold, people that wanted a little more pizzazz to their look. But then when they launched the stuff, it really wasn't that pizzazzy. Like there really wasn't a whole lot different. <laughs> they didn't stray too far from the path. So what they ended up doing was, was about a year after they launched it in 20, they launched it in 2019, they killed it in 2020. But it seems Glossier has a place in their heart that can only be filled by another cosmetic line there's a hole in my heart that can only be filled by you and it looked sorry I love that song tangent sorry about that anyway so over on their social media they put up this post and people thought even news outlets covered that they thought Glossier Play was coming back because the first post is all this glittery stuff you know there's glittery dresses and glittery this and glittery that and everybody's like oh my gosh Glossier Play is coming back but the next day Glossier came on and they were like no it's not Glossier Play it's something else you're gonna love it but we're not gonna tell you yet so as of filming again as of filming I have no idea what this is I don't know what the new line is I'm leaning toward based on the photos that it's some kind of fragrance line but you know they they just haven't announced it as of the time i'm filming so that's what we know so far i of course will be keeping my eye on it ever since emco beauty hit the u.s we here have been talking about the ethical nature or lack thereof ethics <laughs> of brands like Emco that directly rip off packaging of other brands and then use it in order to sell their own things. And, you know, I've always been the kind of person where it's like, you know, not everybody can afford the highest tier of cosmetics. And dupes allow people to access the products that they see other people using, but at a more affordable price. And this may be a hot take, but I kind of feel like the customer that's buying the dupe there isn't very much overlap in the people that want the authentic product there may be some overlap but overall people that want that higher end product are buying it because they want that name they want that prestige of that product they want the quality of the packaging the quality of the ingredients and stuff they're not necessarily going for the dupe so i don't know how much the main brand is going to be impacted by a dupe company that being said one thing that really bothers 
bothers me about the companies like Emco that create this dupe packaging is just because the packaging looks similar doesn't mean the formula inside is going to be anywhere near what the thing they're trying to dupe is. And that's where I have an issue in that it may be tricking people into parting with their hard earned money, thinking that they're getting a dupe when really all they're getting is dupe packaging and the product performance is severely lacking. And that's what my concern really is with this Walgreens launch. And the other thing is the price. We'll talk about that. As Walgreens copies Emco's homework, what they're marketing this as is affordable lux. The products that they're selling resemble products from companies like Glow Recipe, Sol de Janeiro, and Youth to the People, but also The Ordinary, which is really freaking weird because the products in this picture are $6. And how much are the products at Walgreens? They're $6. So what, what are we doing? Like, what is this? What's the point? And the dupes to me personally, they look cheap. Like it's giving me Naked Five from Santee Alley. Like that's the vibe I'm getting from this. And my next problem with this is like, for example, the product that looks like the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro, it's $23. And I know that's, a, that's significantly cheaper than the Sol de Janeiro one, but for something that looks that cheap to be $23? I don't know, I don't know. I'm sure some people will buy it. It just bothers me because I feel like what they might be doing, and I haven't looked at the ingredient list, I don't know how close these are to dupes, I don't know if these are high quality products, but if they are low quality products in copied packaging, my issue here is that they are playing on people's visual memory in order to profit, that it really doesn't have anything to do with trying to give the customer a high quality dupe, but more of just capitalizing on human nature, which I personally don't like. But again, that's just my feeling. I don't know if these are good products or not. So if you end up buying these and you find that they're a good value for the money, please come back and tell me. I will totally eat my words on it. But I, you know, not putting my money on this. Not at all. It, mm -mm. Nope, not a fan. Last week, we started talking about the first advent calendars to hit the market for the 2024 holiday season. And I haven't bought an advent calendar in a really long time, but, but some of the advent calendars that we talked about last week were so, so cute. And this week, we do have some new ones to talk about. But before we talk about the new ones, I want to show you my Liberty London advent calendar came. Let me show you. It's freaking gorgeous. Look at this thing. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so pretty, each one of these is a little box. Okay, so thank you to all of the Brits. I'm sorry if you were horrified that I did not ever hear of Liberty London. I apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, I feel like an idiot. That's like probably like maybe you saying, oh, I've never heard of Macy's or whatever. I'm so sorry. I hadn't heard of it and I apologize, but I'm very thankful to now know them. And thank you for the advice. If I'm ever in London, I need to go there because apparently it is so much better than Harrods and I will make it a point to go there the next time in, I'm in London. I want to go. It's like bucket list for me to get back there. Anyway, so a lot of you also requested that I unbox this on camera. And of course, we can't do that in the product report today because product report is too dang long. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a live stream just randomly in the cracks of things and open this on a live stream. So I'm just going to pop up one day. Uh, so if you were interested in watching this as an unboxing, make sure you subscribe so that it shows up in your subscription feed when I do it. Uh, but yes, I want to unbox this on camera. It's just going to have to be like a live stream situation. Hopefully you get notification of when it's happening. If not, you should be able to watch it on the replay. Anyway, I just wanted to show you because it's so pretty. This is the back of it. Like, look, look at this art. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I'm so, so excited. Anyway. Oh, and the other thing is, is I realized if you go directly to the Liberty London website and you're in the US, you can't buy it. But if you go through the article that I cited last week, I'll put it also down below uh, the article. If you go through their link in the US, you might be able to buy 
try it if you're interested in it. It's like $1,250 worth of product for like $375, something like that. And there were some really good products in there. So yes, very, very excited about that. Anyway, we need to talk about this week's advent calendars. I need to stop going on and on. Let's start Charlotte Tilbury. And you know, advent calendars can sometimes be a really good deal. Charlotte Tilbury is not known for that. Like you're getting like the value of the products. Like she's not going to rip you off, but you're not getting any kind of deal with a Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar. Let me tell you what it is. This year they're going with the Treasure Chest of Love. You get three full-size products and eight travel size products for $220, making it about $18 per product. And it's that's it's really expensive, especially considering how many travel size products are in there. I did some of the math and the three full-size products are worth $117. So if you're paying full price for those, then each travel size product is going to be worth $13, which is, it's not, a, again, it's not a ripoff. It's just not a deal. And if you plan on using the box for something else, if you plan on reusing it, then it might be worth it to you. The rest of the advent calendars I'm going to talk about are, they do seem like really good deals. And I feel like this is a great opportunity for brands to get people to try products that they may not have tried before in maybe a smaller size so that they will then repurchase. So for example, Beekman 1802, love their skin care products. Their advent calendar is called There's No Place Like Home Advent Calendar. It's $179 for $400 worth of their goat milk infused skincare. It has 24 doors to open. 16 of the products are full-sized products. You also get a keepsake holiday storybook featuring their goatee mascot. He's so cute. The thing is, even if you took out those eight products that are not full size, you're talking about $11 each for each full size product. So that is a really good deal. The only thing I want to warn you about about Beekman 1802 is that their preservative system, because it's a more natural brand, don't expect to keep these for longer than a year. They do start smelling off after about a year. At least some of the products that I've tried that I haven't been able to use up within a year. But if you plan on using this stuff like all the time, definitely go for it. Anthropology also has their holiday calendar launched on their website right now. It is the Holiday Collection Beauty Advent Calendar. It's $98 for over $300 worth of product from various brands, including First Day Beauty, Super Goop, Nest, Elemis, Fleur, and Sunday Riley. They are all travel size products, but there's 24 of them. So that makes this down to just $4 per product, which is nuts. I love that so much. And it doesn't look like there's any like little stupid little foil packets or like sticker sheet or anything like that. They look like legit products. Moving on to a launch that I am very excited about because I am a musical fan. I love musicals. I was in musicals when I was in high school, not as a singer, but as a dancer and background ensemble. Crushed it in the ensemble in high school. Love that for me, but I love musicals. So when I found out they were turning Wicked into a movie, super excited. Phoenix and I already have tickets in our brain as soon as as soon as this movie launches, we are going. Anyway, so when I saw R.E.M. Beauty was going to come out with a Wicked collection, I got really, really excited. We've been seeing some little sneaks here and there, but we got even more sneaks this past week. And man, it looks pretty. This may be my first R.E.M. Beauty purchase. Absolutely gorgeous. Interspersed in between pieces of the trailer and just, yes. So what I did was I captured some pictures, some screenshots from the video so you could kind of see the products all together. The movie does launch on November 22nd. So hopefully, at least what I think, let's just say what I think. I think that these products are probably going to launch in the next few weeks. I would say mid-October at the very latest, but I'm shooting for last week of September first week of October, I think this is going to launch. NYX came out with a product that some people are like, oh, what's going on? Some people think it's really cute. I'm in the I think it's really cute camp. The school supply look in face glue gripping primer and the face glue setting spray. They're $9 and $10 respectively. I don't know. I think it's adorable and gripping stuff and primers and all that stuff, the, the slightly sticky stuff. People really love that. So yeah, I don't hate it at all. Another product that I don't hate that I think is a smart launch is the Profusion Feel good skin perfector. They're $8. It doesn't seem to go super light or super deep, which kind of sucks, but it does seem to hit a lot of the range in between. There's two fair shades, two light shades, three medium, three tan, and two deep shades there. Just going with the trends. Just wish they just had just stretch it just a little bit more, just a little, little stretching would have been really nice. 
Lisa Eldridge has new eye products. I don't know if these launched before last week's show or before this week's show. I know they were sneaked, but I'm not sure if they launched. Anyway, I haven't talked about them yet. So let's let me tell you what they are. We have the Liquid Silk Liquid Eyeshadow in five shades, $36 each. They say it's a lid smoothing soft focus matte liquid eyeshadow in nuanced natural shades for an elevated eye in seconds. There's also their first eyeshadow palette. It is called the Fawn Eyeshadow Palette. It's $62 for six shades in the palette. Now, I know these are very expensive, but one thing I appreciate about Lisa Eldridge is at least if they're going to charge those prices, it looks expensive. Like, it looks like it should be worth that much. <laughs> at least, you know, you're getting that luxury feel to it, and I think the luxury customer is really going to be interested in these. Speaking of that, Byredo has launched some mascaras. They have everything from, like, a neon green to a black. They're $50 each. That's that's a sticking point for me because even though the packaging looks cool and it's very birado and like I get it, mascaras, you're supposed to throw them away every three to six months. Unless you've got money to just like throw away like that, I, I, I can't imagine that the formula inside here is worth $50. Like no mascara to me is worth $50 when we get have drugstore options that are magical. We have high-end products that are half this price that are magical and amazing mascaras. Like, I think Byredo fans are going to buy this. I think people that just have that money to burn are going to buy this, but I don't think this is targeted at the regular everyday consumer. Not at all. Like, $50 for mascara is a lot. Let's move on to some indie news because I am very excited about this next launch because, you know, one thing that I love about this job, well, one thing I don't love, let me tell you what I don't love first. I don't love that I don't have co-workers because I do miss that. When I was an elementary school teacher, I loved having co-workers. But one thing I do love is that sometimes I get to go to events and I get to meet other creators. My favorite memory of spending time with Amanda from Makeup Just for Fun was in Charleston and we were in this big house and there was this big living room and the activities were done for the day. We were all sitting around in our pajamas and Amanda and I just sat on the couch and we talked and we laughed. And I will tell you, Amanda's brilliant. She's so funny. She's got this like unique, dry sense of humor that I love. Like I loved talking to her. You know, some people you could have good conversations with, but then you have this conversation. It's like, man, that was really enjoyable. I loved that conversation. And that's the way I felt about talking to Amanda. So even though we're not close in any way, I really respect her as a person. And whenever I get to be in a room with her, I'm very happy to be there. So when I saw that she collaborated with Fantasy Cosmetic on a collection. I was so, so happy for her. Let me tell you what the collection is all about. So it launched just this past week. We have the Enchanted Autumn Collection with a 12 pan eyeshadow palette and five tinted lip balms along with a Woodwick candle. I just realized I forgot to write it into my script. So I had to look it up on my phone what the prices are. So the entire collection you can get for $120. Just the palette is about $45. The palette plus the lip balm bundle is $92. And the lip balms are, they, it says, from $12.45. The candle by itself is about 30 bucks. So congratulations, Amanda. I am so happy for you. I did get a chance to try Fantasy Cosmetica through the Creators and Friends events, and I've really been enjoying their eyeshadow palette so far. So I think this is a really good collaboration. Very excited. Speaking of very excited, Ali Glines' Revie Beauty just had a launch of some blushes, and they are beautiful. There are three shades all together. The individual blushes are $32 each, or you can get a bundle of all three for $86. There's also a brush for $24. So if you want all three blushes and the brush, that's going to run you $98. Nomad Cosmetics is sneaking their next release coming on October 8th. Clarity Cosmetics is launching their Angry Leprechaun palette this coming week. And of course, my first... My first thought is like, why are we doing leprechauns? It's September. That is Halloween. It's an angry leprechaun, Jen. It makes sense. <laughs> It just took me a second. I was a little slow on the uptake on that one. If you are interested, it is 12 shades in the eyeshadow palette. That's $65. There's also matte liquid lipsticks for $15 each. And the limited edition PR collection box is going to run you $130. Moira Cosmetics has launched a plumping lip liner for $750 each. 12 shades. You can also get a bundle of them for $67.50. Cosmic brushes. We talked about this last 
last week. We knew we were going to get to see this this week. We did get to see it. It has now launched. The Undergrowth palette is here. It's $38. It is shipping in two weeks. They call it a mostly grungy, murky, and dirtiest of undertones inspired by nature's undergrowth. 12 matte shades, eight dazzling shimmers with a range of finishes and textures. The palette contains three shifty shades. Two of those are multi-chromes and one duochrome. It is now time to head over to Sephora and talk about their launches. They are, I'm telling you, it's a lot of gift sets. It's a lot of gift sets, but let's hold off on those for just a second and let's talk shade extensions because it's already Christmas at Laneige. <laughs> <laughs> candy cane candy cane scented stuff we have the glowy lip balm for $19 the lip sleeping mask for $25 you can also get a full-size lip balm and a mini lip sleeping mask in a bundle for $24 if the candy cane scent is not your thing how about eggnog latte is that your thing because if it is they have an eggnog latte mask available now again at that $25 price point also, packaging really, really cute on this next launch from Tatcha. It is a new Tatcha, the Kisu lip mask in a new shade called Kiku Orange Blossom absolutely adorable. Glossier Cloud Paint Gel Cream Blush is now in two new shades called Soar, which is a bright warm pink, and Wisp, as that is a soft lilac. YSL released a new Couture Mini Clutch Eyeshadow Palette in two new colorways, 700 Over Noir Cool Chromes and 710 Over Brun Warm Browns and Cool Nudes. Tom Ford also launched a, an eye color quad eyeshadow palette in two new colorways, Metallic Mauve and Rose Veil. All right, are you ready for gift sets? I am ready for gift sets. The I look forward to these Sephora favorites gift sets every single year because I do think that they can be a very good value, but really focusing, so, so important to focus on whether you personally think that these are a good value and that's gonna depend on what's inside, what you already have, what you want, what you don't want, because if you're not gonna use the products in the gift set, it's not a good value if they're just gonna sit there, but if they're products that you genuinely want and will genuinely use, oh my gosh, these are the best. So anyway, let's talk about it. There's six of them. Let's start off with the makeup must-have sets. It's $69. There's 11 products. Four of them are full-size. There's three deluxe and there's four minis. For the full-size, you're going to get a full-size Glossier Clear Brow Gel, a Makeup by Mario Cream Blush, Tower 28 Facial Spray, and House Labs Plumping Gloss. For the deluxe sizes, a Milk Makeup Gripping Primer, Sol de Janeiro 68 Hair and Body Fragrance Mist, the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Frizz Reduction and Heat Protectant Hair Oil. And then for the minis, you're getting a Mini Grande Cosmetics Enhancing Serum, a Mini Rare Beauty Luminizer Highlight, a Mini Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, and a Mini Polish Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So that's what you get there. For the second set, let's talk about the Cozy and Clean Makeup and Skincare Set. $64 for this one. It is a 10-piece set of clean at Sephora brands. So you get four full size products, three deluxe sizes, and three mini sizes. For the full sizes, you're getting a Kosas Plump Plus Juicy Lip Booster, an Ami Cole Lip Treatment Oil, an LYS Cream Blush, and the Merit Cream Blush. For the deluxe sizes, you'll get an Ilia Hydrating Lipstick Plus Lip Liner Crayon, the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Moisturizer, this and a Summer Fridays Mask Plus Moisturizer. The minis, you're getting a Nest a Sarah Retinol Repair Serum, a Cali Ray Collagen Peptide Primer, and a Say Illuminator. Next, the Bold and Blushing Blush and Lip Set. $42, three full sizes and three minis here. Danessa Myrick's Lip and Cheek, the Lawless Cream Blush, and the Refi Lip Blush are your full sizes. Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm, Patrick Todd Plumping Lip Gloss, and the Pat McGrath Lip Gloss are your mini sizes. Glitz and Glam Makeup Set is $45. It's a seven-piece curated of high impact makeup picks. So more bold looks is what they're going for. Three full, three deluxe, and a mini product in here. Full sizes of the Glossier Cloud Paint, a Beauty Blender Original, and the Merit Signature Lip. For deluxe sizes, the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eyeshadow, a Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil Eyeliner, and an Armani Lip Gloss. For minis, you're getting an ABH Brow Freeze eyebrow wax. The Precious Pouts lip set is $54. You get nine products in here. It's lip glosses and lip liners, four full size, four mini sizes, and a deluxe. 
full sizes, you're getting a Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum, a Sephora Collection Retractable Rouge Gel Lip Liner, a Glossier Ultra Lip High Shine Lipstick, and the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. For the minis, a Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil, a Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, a YSL Candy Glaze Lip Gloss Stick, and a Hoodie Beauty hoodie. <laughs> a Huda Beauty Lip Contour Matte Lip Pencil. The deluxe product you're getting is the NARS Explicit Refillable Satin Lipstick. And finally, probably my favorite one. The Lash Stash is always my favorite because if you can remember, if you do the thing, it gives you a voucher for a full size. And the full sizes of these, a lot of them are over $20. So not only are you getting these collection of the mini mascaras, which can last you three months a piece, you can also get a full size included in the price. So this is always my favorite. This year, they are including some of my favorite mascaras as well. The Tarte Tarlet XL Tubing Mascara, friggin' fantastic. Grande Lash Grande Mascara, not a fan of that one. I don't like that one. But the Benefit Fan Fest Fanning and Volumizing Mascara, huge thumbs up on that one. It did dry out pretty quickly on me though. I will say that, but really, really enjoyed it while it was not dried up. <laughs> I haven't tried the Milk Makeup Rise Lifting Plus Lengthening Mascara, but I have tried the Lancome Lash Adol Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. That is a thumbs up for me as well. So I think that this is a really, really good deal this year. They picked some really good ones for the set. All right, the Sephora Advent Calendar. So I've been doing What's Up In Makeup since what? like 2014, something like that. And every year the Sephora Advent Calendars get roasted and every year they come back. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. One thing I appreciate about this is I believe, I could be wrong here, but I believe they've lowered the price a bit. It's $50. $50 is still a significant amount of money, but when you consider you're getting 24 things in here, making it a little over $2 a product. So you're getting, you know, like a nail polish, a little over $2. That's pretty good in this economy to get nail polish for a little over $2, but it, it balances out with some of the other things that are in here. So you really just have to decide whether it's worth it to you. And if this sounds good to you, then definitely get it. But don't, you just got to kind of manage your expectations. And also everything in here is Sephora brand. And I feel like with these, it kind of reminds me of like the beauty gems over at Ulta. Like they put like some of their lowest quality products, I feel like in these advent calendars. And I could be wrong. It's been many years since I've gotten one. So if I'm wrong, I will eat my words. Anyway, long story short, way too late. Here's what comes in the advent calendar if you're interested. There's a mascara, there's cleansing wipes, two eye creams, a moisturizer, a bubble bath slash body wash, a lip mask, a nose, a single nose strip, a cleanser, three nail polishes, that includes a top coat, a lip marker, a lip liner, an eyeliner and some foot masks. So if that sounds like $50 worth of product to you, that's go for it. Enjoy. It will not be me. <laughs> and that's okay. I am curious to see if Alexandria Ryan will purchase this and review it because she is the advent calendar queen. Highly recommend you go check out her channel. I'm curious what she's gonna what she's gonna say about this. I have a feeling she'll get it. Last week we talked about the benefit advent calendar that looks like the shopping basket and we went in depth with all of that. So we're not gonna go into it again, but I do wanna show you the picture again because it's super freaking cute. Last week also they launched a lot of food themed packaging gift sets over at Ulta. They've now made their way over to Sephora plus a few other ones, which are really freaking cute. I At first I was a little skeptical of this grocery shopping theme, but I love this so much. I do. I love it. It's so cute and it's, it's dumb and I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. The thing about Benefit is they really are good at their branding. They know who they are as a brand and they're crushing it. Let's look at this chip bag, all right? It's so cute. The Looking Crisp Full Face Bestseller Set, seven products, $89. You get full four full size and three minis in here. Then we have the Souped Up Beauty Can. $48, you get two full sizes and a mini in here. The Pipe and Hot Beauty, $20 for two minis in that one. Bad Gal Energy, $36 for one full size and two minis. Then we have two chocolate bar themed palettes, the Chocolicious Cheeks and the Chocolata Blush Mini Blush Palette. Those are $32 each, you get three shades. This one I remember from Ulta last week, the Wild Caught Lashes Volumizing Mascara Duo, $40 for two full size mascaras. And the Mac and Cheese Box, I died at the Mac and Cheese Box. Come on, Ben benefit mac and cheese and listen to the name it's called the all brout that cheddar 
three brow products for $49 in your choice of five different shades uh, coming in that packaging. Just, I don't know who thought of this, who designed this stuff, but well done. Well done. All right. I also really like the look of this next set. It's from Fenty Beauty, the Glossy Posse number no. seven full size gloss bomb trio. $40, of course, for four full sizes. You're going to get an, an original lip luminizer. You're going to get the heat one, and then you're going to get a lip cream. Speaking of lips, a lot of lip gift sets this year. Lip and cheek, it's like the thing. So from K Skin, we have the Isle Lip Balm SPF 30 Holiday Lip Trio, $31. They say it's a trio of hydrating and protective lip balms with SPF 30 UV protection for every occasion. These are, of course, full size. Regular price is $15 each. So you're, so you're paying $31 for three of them, essentially getting one for free. Tower 28 also has their mini Lil Softies Tinted Lip Treatment Set. That's $20 for free four minis, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm Bestsellers Duo in two colorways, $29 each there. This one I think is very cute. The Kosas Mini Blushes Life Trio, three mini blushes for 30 bucks there. The Lawless Mary Minis Lip Bumper Gloss Trio Set, three minis there for $27. And finally, the Prada Mini Moisturizing Lip Balm Set, $55 for three minis. All right, we're done with gift sets. Just one more, just regular old product that launched that's kind of, I guess it might be, could be considered like giftable. We're talking the Urban Decay Moon Dust Space Cowboy Glitter Eyeshadow Quad. It's $39. They say it's inspired by the viral moon dust shade Space Cowboy featuring four high impact shades packed with micro fine glitter that leave a shimmery finish. That sheer wash of sparkle and shine is so popular right now. So you just kind of have to decide whether that's worth it or not. One product coming soon that looks really interesting from One Size Beauty, the Turn up the base infinity beauty sponge for $19. It's they say it's an ultra soft ergonomic tool designed with a unique oloid shape. I had to look that up. It is a thing. It was a shape discovered in the 1920s. And now Patrick Starr and one size have put I've made a sponge that size. The, the rabbit holes I go down are ridiculous. Anyway, they say that it is for infinite uses that smoothly apply makeup from liquids and creams to powders. Uh, it is a different shape and it does look very functional. So I'm very curious to see people using this and how they like it. It is coming to Sephora's website on September 23rd. Third. Moving over to Ulta, since we just talked about that Urban Decay product, they have their own version of that over at Ulta. It is a little bit more expensive. It is $49, but you're going to get six shades in the star-shaped compact packaging. The They say the shades were custom formulated from hues within the same color scheme to easily mix and match for sparkling eyeshadow looks. A lot of buzz surrounding this next product. I saw it all over social media this past week. The About Face Blush Rush Liquid Blushes. $18. There's six shades. They call them an ultra pigmented fluid blush that blends seamlessly plus glistens on the skin. Next product I know launched a while back, maybe a month ago or so, but it does seem to be new to Ulta. The Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balms. Uh, they're $9.99 each, four shades. They say it cushions lips, making them feel silky soft and smooth and adds a pop of color and a glowy finish. Jane Iredale has a new tubing mascara. It is the Last Fixation Lash Length and Definition Tubing Mascara. It's $28. They say it's long wearing, smudge resistant formula that lifts and separates for longer looking, expertly defined lashes. Here are the before and after pictures for the mascara. And honestly, like some of them, sometimes I look at the before and afters and I'm like, that does not look real. Like something's going on there. They're manipulating the pictures. They're making it look like the lashes are really short when they're actually naturally long. And then they just put the mascaras on and oh, big shocker, their lashes are long. I feel like this looks realistic. Like I appreciate the marketing on this, that it looks like it actually is a good mascara from the pictures. No fake lashes added or anything, or it just, I just appreciate the honesty here. It looks very honest. And as somebody with short, sparse, wimpy lashes when I'm not wearing fake lashes, I really appreciate that. Another product that I've seen a lot of buzz around are these new Milani blushes. They are the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush and Glows. They're $12.99 each, six shades available. They say it combines a blush and highlighter into a buildable, blendable hybrid formula for a soft, focused kiss of luminous color. Okay, the big womp womp for me this week is this next product. Well, at least it's the packaging for me. It's the packaging. And I don't know, like I feel like Kylie is not involved in her brand at all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no touch of Kylie in this. This this to me, okay, let me, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Lip and Cheek Blush Tint. Doesn't this look 
similar to something you might see from like a Milani or a Catrice or something like this does not give me high-end feel at all like I feel like with Kylie there is this air of high class of you know I'm I'm rich and I'm beautiful and I'm you know I I live in this mansion and all of this and I feel like her brand just does not give that and at the price point of $26 for one of these I just don't feel like it matches kind of like what we were talking about earlier about the Lisa Eldridge stuff how it looks expensive it's got that luxury feel I wish there was a way like I know it's not the same price point like Lisa Eldridge is much more expensive but I wish there was a way for Kylie Cosmetics to hit up the $26 price point which I feel like is fair but have that packaging really match the price point and and make you feel like you're getting a little piece of Kylie's life in your home by buying the makeup and I feel like they're gonna they're gonna sink if they keep doing this I don't know this is just me and just one person's opinion and of course the masses may have a different opinion that's just my take on it if you are interested there's five shades available they say it's a multi-use fluid blush for a healthy flush of subtle natural color silky formula melts into the skin blurring imperfections and lip lines for a smooth finish without any streaks so in contrast how we talked about benefit in the sephora section let's talk about the new benefit stuff that's at ulta this palette it's just one thing i don't know why i said stuff this one thing it is the treat yourself gorgeous face palette it's 52 dollars three blush shades six eyeshadows this looks like it's worth 52 dollars to me like you look at it and it's like okay that sounds that looks pretty reasonable i mean a little pricey a little pricey but i get it right because the packaging matches the feel you know and the price point i just feel like kylie cosmetics is just flopping and it's it's nothing against kylie as a person because i don't honestly don't i don't feel like she, she can't be involved in this to put out something like that she can't be i i don't believe it <laughs> i act like i know her personally and i know what she would do but it just doesn't it doesn't feel right at all and finally we're ending the product report with three gift sets over at ulta grande cosmetics the five steps the fab set $69 you get a full size of the grande lash md serum mini sizes of the grande brow and the grande drama mascara as well as the grande lips lip plumper and the grande buff exfoliator from drunk elephant i almost left this out because of course it's mostly skincare but it has the debronzy in it so we're gonna we're gonna stretch it and say it's body makeup <laughs> It is the resort to this day kit. It's $99. You get a full size of one of my favorite Drunk Elephant products of all time, the Proteini Polypeptide Cream, freaking fab. You also get travel sizes of the Sea From a Fresh Day Serum, the D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops, and the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. And then finally, we have from Buxom, the Babe Celebration Lip Gloss and Lip Liner Gift Set, $50. Full size, full on plumping lip cream and power line plumping lip liner and then three mini full-on plumping lip polishes in this set i expect to see way more buxom holiday sets i feel like they really just launch a lot at holiday like all year they may have one drop maybe two drops and then they just hit us with the gift sets at holiday time so i have a feeling this is going to be one of many gift sets we see from buxom all right pr purchase product of the week oh my goodness okay so i have so much to share with you <sighs> dude Dude, why are these so pretty? Why are they so pretty? The Sigma Little Mermaid Collection. Okay, let me just show you. So I told you recently that I went and got to visit Sigma's headquarters in Minnesota and I had the best time. I got to hang out with their team and they showed me this collection and I about died. <laughs> they were like, you can touch it, you can put your fingers in. I'm like, really? I don't, I don't want to touch it. And they let me. So I was just, so this is the giant PR box. They've sent these big boxes before for the other Disney licensed collections. And I pulled some stuff out so it doesn't look quite as pretty as it did. But inside they have their beautiful model, which they told me that she was actually out there in the water. Like she's actually in the water there i don't know if they inserted things in the background or what but she's in the water which is super freaking cool oh my gosh it's so pretty it's so pretty wait till you see this oh my goodness okay if you're not sure where to look on this look at that top middle purple shade watch why is it green why is it green okay let's do it again now look at this like green shade right here watch 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 and it's brown oh my goodness and it's purple and screen Oh my gosh. I know some of you are like, Jen, have you never seen a multi-chrome before? And of course I've seen a multi-chrome before, but this shade is very, very special in my opinion. This middle guy right here. Watch that mermaid shift. Are you kidding me right now? It is a mermaid 
in a swatch right there. Seriously, what is even freaking happening right now? Oh my gosh, and the pigmentation on, like what, what? What is this magic? What is this magic? Like, oh. I sound really inappropriate right now and I'm so sorry if like somebody's listening, she watched this and they're like, what are you watching right now? But, but what, what? Okay, so basically when I swatched that shade at the headquarters, I lost my sh I absolutely lost my shit. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Let me, I'm just gonna swatch a couple more for you of these multi-chromes and just shimmery guys. Like really, really fun. I'm, ha I'm having trouble picking up the shift on this white one here, but bloop, bloop, bloop. The peachy guy is a little bit more of a topper there, but you can see the shiftiness just really freaking fun, man. This palette is a toy. If you are looking to have fun with makeup, this is your baby. And also it has these more natural matte shades in there. So you can just use those if you want to, and then add in a pop of color or use a natural palette that you already have and just add in one shade just to have a little bit more fun in your look. Add this purple on your lower lash line or the green or something like, or add these guys in your inner corner. Just so, so freaking pretty. Can't even stand it. The other thing is these guys. They are so pretty. Let me show you this packaging. Even if you're not a Little Mermaid fan, but you're a fan of the beach and you love beach themed stuff, like these are, they're so pretty, absolutely beautiful. So this is what I'm wearing on my face today. This is the highlighter. And there isn't much of a, there's a little bit of a shift to it, but it's not like anything that's not quote unquote wearable. I'm wearing it on my face today. And I just put the tiniest little bit and you can see that shift just a little, Bit. And you can build this up and you can make it more bold if you want. I just didn't want it super bold today. Here's the blush that I'm wearing today right there. And you can see there's a little print in there that of course will go away with use, but really, really freaking adorable. And that's what I'm wearing on my face today. The collection also has this gorgeous bag that matches the one eyeshadow. <laughs> really cool there and then there's three different brushes sigma brushes have been popular for a very long time for a reason this guy right here is so soft like if you want a hug from your brush this is the brush and then these little detailing brushes are great for using the eyeshadow palette for really placing the shades before you blend so can you tell I am very excited about the Sigma Little Mermaid collection? Just a little bit. Let's talk about what else is on my face. All of this is PR. I wanna share with you, I got this from Milk Makeup. This is their new illuminating sticky primer thing. Jen, say it right. It is the Hydra Grip Glow Primer. And I was a little nervous about it because I am a textural person. I do not like textures on my face. If it's sticky, keep it away from me because I cannot stand it. And that's the way that I felt about the original one. I will tell you this one has a bit of a stick to it, but it is not so sticky. The other thing that made me nervous was how gold this was. I was really just kind of freaking out because I wasn't sure if my skin tone could handle this, but the way that it blends out, it really does blend into the skin. You do still get that golden glow, uh, but it is not like a super pigmented golden glow. I do think that this is going to look the prettiest on medium to deeper skin tones. I think if you're very fair, there may be too much of a tint there, but the more you blend it in, the more you really do just get the shine and not as much of the gold color. And can you hear the stick? So there's a little bit of a stick when you first apply it, but when it stays, like I can't, my skin's not sticky now. But honestly, even when I first applied it, it didn't feel sticky on my skin at all. I was very pleasantly surprised. I haven't used it all day yet. This is my first time trying it, so I can't speak to whether it helps my makeup last longer. But if it's anything like the original, it should. Let's talk about what's on my eyes today. Also sent in PR from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is their Gargoyle palette. Really beautiful, really fun color story here. I don't think I own anything quite like this as far as the color story goes. I used a lot of the more natural shades here and also dipped into this red shade over here. You can see my finger went into it because it's got that shift in the color from my finger being in there. I also swatched this purple shade even though I didn't use it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I'll swatch the shades that I used today, Ancient Spire, Guardian, Perched, and Menacing. Just these four shades here is what I used to create my look and bloop, bloop, bloop. And you can see the pigmentation is definitely there on these 
very easy to work with. Really, really enjoyed using that today. I'm also going to swatch for you some of the other shinier shades because I find them to be very, very fun, just so you can get a better idea of what you're getting in this palette. Um, loop, 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 loop. All right, there's more of the color story there for you. And I cannot wait to like bathe myself in that purple shade. The one, this one right here. <gasps> I love that so much. I love it so much. So yeah, so far so good. Again, this is my first time using it. I just got it in the mail. So I will continue to use this and I'm really loving it so far. I love the color story, like this mossy green right there. I can't wait to use that one too. I wanna like put that all over my lid with like a little bit of like the sparkly guy. I think that's gonna be really pretty. And finally, what is on my lips today? So I wanted to use the Sigma lip cream that came from the Little Mermaid collection that I completely forgot to show you. But those are those. So I just wanted to use this one one, but when I got on camera, it really didn't, it wasn't enough. Like I needed more. So I took a shade from the Gargoyle palette, this deeper brown that I just showed you a second ago, this guy called Perched. I put that on top of it and that's what I did to create my lip look. And then I just put a little bit of this gloss on top. Uh, I've been talking for like two hours at this point, so it's worn off, but there you go. And this, don't, be, don't be scared of the sparkle in there. It really doesn't hardly show up like at all, it's, the sparkle is really very subtle. So no worries about that. If you don't like a glittery lip, this is just very much a subtle, very, very tiny sparkle to it. Notable sales this week, my friend, we have from Blue Mercury. They are having their 25th anniversary sale, 25% off almost all purchases over $250. Use code NEWBLUE at checkout for that deal. Cover FX also has a 25th anniversary sale up to 70% off of everything. No code needed on their website right now. Melt is giving away a free golden hour cream blush light with orders of $75 or more right now. And if you want to get up to that $75 or more, you may want to check out the Bailey Sarian Fatally Yours collection. It is currently 50% off. And finally, the final days of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty are happening right now. That does end on Thursday. And that, my friend, was the What's Up and Makeup product report this week. Thank you so, so much for watching. And of course, thank you as always to the What's Up and Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. Thank you for all of your submissions this week. I appreciate you so, so much. And if you enjoyed the show, if you like what I do here, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me so much. It tells YouTube to share it with more people so more people get the opportunity to click on the video if they want to. And if you are really enjoying it and you want to make sure you don't miss my future content, you can subscribe. The button is down below and all that does is it puts it into your subscription feed so that you can find my videos more easily when I upload. If you're like, wait, what happened to What's Been Makeup this week? I haven't seen it. Go to your subscri subscription feed. It should be right there for you. And if you would like to hang out a little longer because you are not ready to go, I would love for you to stay. You YouTube over here should be recommending two videos for you. The bottom one is last week's product report. The top one is going to be a video YouTube's gonna pick for you based on what you've been watching recently. But if you do have to go, I get it. It is no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. And mad love to you. I will see you in a video very, very soon.